Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about mesh processing in the spatial domain. The term spatial refers to the image plane itself, which means direct manipulation of pixels in an image. We can divide spatial processing into two categories, Intent intensity transformation and spatial filtering. We can define intensity transformation as operations on single pixels of an image, while spatial filtering performs operation on the neighborhood of the pixels in an image. We can describe spatial domain process by the equation g of x and y equals t f of x and y. Where f of x and y is the input image, g x y is the output image, and t is operator of f defined over a neighborhood of point x y. In case of intensity transformation, where the operation on single pixel, the equation becomes s equals t of r, where s intensity of g x y and our intensity of fxy. In this video, we will talk about only intensity transformation. Firstly, we will start with image negatives. We can take negative of an image by inversing pixel values. So the white pixels in the image become black and black pixels become white. And the equation is S equals L minus 1 minus R. In grayscale images, L equals 255, which is the highest intensity. So the equation becomes S equals 255 minus R. For example, if we have image like this and we want the negative, we apply the equation. Let's move to Visual Studio to write some code. Let's include modules that we need. In this video, I will write three different functions. So it is better to use a class. I will define class called intensity transformation. And inside I will define member function and name it negative. It takes two arguments. The input image, I will name it source. And the output image, I will name it destination. Now I come back to a negative equation, we subtract 255 from pixel intensity of the input image. Now let's go to main function. First, define mat object for the input image and image negative for the output image. Read the input image. Now create object from our class. I will name it T1. Now T1 dot negative. I will pass image and image negative. Finally create window and show the outcome. The second transformation that I want to talk about 
is log transformation. The general form of the log transformation is S equals C times log 1 plus R. Where C constant and assume R greater than or equals 0. This figure shows log function. From the figure, we can see that log transformation expands the values of dark pixels in an image. While I come back to the general form, we notice that we increment all pixel values by 1. And that is because we may have pixel in the image with 0 values, and log of zeros is undefined. Now from the following figure, we notice that when input values vary from 0 to 255, the output vary from 0 to 2.4. So the output image will be entirely black, because the log transformation compress the input values to range from 0 to 2.4. So all grayscales values represented by just 1, 0, 1, and 2. Now in order to solve this problem, we multiply the output values by C to make the output range from 0 to 255. The question now how to compute C? We have input range R from 0 to 255 and the output range from S from 0 to 2.4. We want S range from 0 to 255. So we map the R max to 255. So we get C equals 255 over log R max plus 1. Now let's implement log transformation on Visual Studio. I will define member function log transformation with two arguments, the same as negative source and destination. I will use mean max lock to determine the max value in the image. Now C equals 255 over log R max plus 1. Here when I used log, C type become float and the type of the image is unsigned uchar. So I need to convert the image to type float. After I finish from calculate log transformation of the image, I will convert it back to unsigned uchar. Now let's see the outcome. The last transformation is power law transformation or gamma transformation. The general form is S equals C times R to the gamma. As we can see from the figure, different values of gamma give us different curve. In the same way of log, we can calculate C. Let's implement it on Visual Studio.
Goodbye and see you next lecture.